All right, boys. I want to change the engine in my Jeep. All right, all right, let's go. Let's do it. Got the drive shafts out, got the wheels off, got some of the fluids drained, I got all those trans mount bolts out. These guys are all cracked loose, some of them broke. That's a miracle for a Jeep. Now I'm gonna work on unbolting the exhaust up there, and then we're gonna give it an old solid sawzall right there, and then uh, <clears throat> take this bracket out, unbolt the trans mount, take the transfer case off, and then uh, we're doing a tune-up? Uh, yep, here it is. <laughs> we decided we need a bigger motor and a buggy. Unreal. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Pretty sure the frame would not be able to hold that kind of weight or that kind of power. All right, we got the engine out of the Jeep. Now I got to prep it for the pedal set and the five-speed swap with the new motor going in. We got the uh, bracket for the pedal set in. I actually ended up reusing the one that came in the truck. It's already set up to house a clutch pedal bracket, which is this bracket over here. So now all I have to do, I had to drill those three holes in the firewall. Uh, bottom one you can't see because there's already a bolt in it. But the big hole is gonna have the center of the... The cool thing is the factory already marked all three. There was three divots 
for those the top hole where the bottom stud is coming through and that center hole there was three divots already in the sheet metal and they were perfectly aligned so clearly that's i guess the thing on the assembly line that sets them up for drilling these holes it was really not hard at all there's only six bolts that hold the whole pedal assembly in and uh yeah it's pretty much that Are you looking to raise your blood pressure? It's pretty simple. All you need to do is install a pedal set on a Jeep Cherokee. I absolutely guarantee 100% that it will double or triple your blood pressure. 1995 plus shipping and handling. All right, so while I've been dealing with the pedal set and getting all the holes and everything drilled, my dad's been swapping stuff over. All right, so what do you got going on? The exhaust manifold is actually not that old. All the bolts and everything, yeah. Bolt it on, and then bolt this bracket back on the place. Yeah, this way, figure we swap everything over to the new motor while it's out. We got a we got a pulley delete. Everyone's gonna yell at me for not doing a uh, alternator relocation kit, but what we're doing is we're taking this up and we're putting the uh, a pulley bypass on it to get rid of the air conditioning. We don't need air conditioning, Dad. You know why? Yeah, because of just take the doors off. <laughs> Besides, this hasn't been hooked up. If you need air conditioning, if you need a compressor, Dad, I got you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clean the slide about it. Get this thing. Yeah, it's got a little oil. This motor was burning oil quite a bit. It's all because the valve seals, the little the little rubber seals well, in there, when the springs are shot. Oil, oil, oil. Yeah, you don't have to take them out, which is nice. Yep. Everything is hooked up in terms of electronics. All the engine mounts are tight. Clutch master cylinder is in. Slave cylinder is in. I just put the shifter in. I have decent trim. Clutch pedal is in. Waiting on uh, some coolant hoses and uh, a couple of little odds and ends, and we're gonna get ready to fire it in a few minutes. Can't wait. Nervous as shit though. I hit a little high, but she's running pretty good. pressure is phenomenal. It's not really charging, so I gotta figure out why, but we'll get there in a second. So I've been uh, driving the Jeep now for a couple days to make sure everything's all good. 
and uh, runs and dries awesome. So, uh, yeah, next move is finish the dry shaft in the front, and I uh, got to work out one little oil leak. Other than that, we are rolling down the road pretty good. So that is how you put a motor in in pretty much like 10 minutes. Really took like two days, but 10 minutes. <laughs> See you next time.